Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share today. I've been creating um, this piece I got at Michael's in their wood department. So it's just a like a board that has a frame around it. So I mosaiced on that, and I ended up creating something that it's not exactly what I had pictured in my head. But I wanted to play around with mixed media. So basically, it's all the different stuff that I've been um, collecting since I started doing mosaics again. So all the pre-cut tiles, I've gotten a lot of circles. Um, these little shapes, I've got butterflies, hearts, and flowers. Um, I got these... Um, Scrabble tiles. Those are from Hobby Lobby. They're not real Scrabble tiles, but you could use real Scrabble tiles. Then I even have over here, these are Milliflory beads that were on a bracelet that I put in here. I have the other Milliflory um, glass, you know, tiles. I put ball chain in here. Um, I have these really cool so I've been buying a lot of stuff, and I'm a little frustrated because I'm trying to find those. I don't know where I put them. Um, I have a little, um, like, one of those things that your husband might have in the garage, or you might have in the garage. I can't find them. Here they are. They're, they're right on top. These little tiny, I want to say they're ceramic, but they're cut in shapes. Like, that's a teardrop, a half moon stars, flowers, hearts, tear, other teardrop size, there's triangles, so I tried to put those all around. I have them, this in the love one. I'll come in a little and I'll show you. I like how the love turned out. This was stained glass, just that I would use for a, mose um, a stained glass piece, and I had pre-cut these, so I just gathered up all my red, all the different red tiles. These I've had forever. I've used them. They're pre-cut. I use them in my older mosaics. That's a bead. That little lotus flower bead. And then that heart right there is one of these little guys. Um, these are glitter tiles. These are triangles. I think I even got those at Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. I wrote love and, and all these other little... These are cut shapes. These are pre-cut flower petals with another little milliflory in the middle. Um, this is a bead. This butterfly is one of those um, beads that you could get at the bead department. Um, and then just stained glass. Like I just mixed it up. Um, so that's how the red turned out. And then I had these, and really the design, let me go back up. The design kind of came to play and to play with. I knew I wanted to put words, peace, faith, hope, love, and serenity down the bottom. Um, so I made this heart, I mean, I'm sorry, a sun, and that was my plan, was to make the rays go down and be the words. But I didn't have enough of these, like, straight tiles to keep the pattern going, so I ended up putting a cloud over here. And it's kind of wonky, and it's not really, I don't know, I just, I wasn't really thrilled with the way that, that, made it look. It just took a, I think it would have looked much better if I just would have kept it with two more, um, you know, rays of hope or, you know, faith or fun or something. Anyway, but the white, I had a lot of white. That's another reason. So mainly what I've been creating has been based on the tiles I've had on hand. Instead of me cutting everything by hand, I'm using these pre-cut shapes. And that being said, I do like working that way. It's it's a lot less fiddly, although I'll show you the next piece that I'm going to share. Um, I cut a little bit more. Um, and you can still cut some of these, like the, the pre-cut shapes. I can still cut them to fit them in. But like these triangles, they're pre-cut and I just put them in there. These are half round squares. I cut squares in half to make triangles. You know, it's just easier. Like the process goes along a little faster. Um, and this is what's available online. I've ordered a lot from a couple of different online sources, some from Etsy, like this is a bead, this star. So that's the first one I wanted to share with you. Love, hope, faith, serenity, peace. Um, so yeah, I glued my, my son in first and then 
I didn't plan out the whole project I just winged it and when I got to here it was like well I don't have enough but I have lots of white so I just put that down the bottom and that's how that went and then I varnished everything all right and then this is the other piece so this I'm gonna put I know you can just see my camera which is not a big deal that's what I'm that's what I'm the mirror is showing but this mirror is just one of these types of mirrors where is it let me show you Jinjin, I'm just gonna come over here for a second wait a minute I want to say it's about seven inches but these are the pre-cut shaped mirrors these are from I think Hobby Lobby um, these are five inch I would try one with this too because this was my biggest mandala shape so those of you who watch my channel know that I usually do wood burning on these and I had this big one so I want to say this is 14 inches a 14 inch round and I glued one of these mirrors into the middle of it you know I drew out I made sure I found the middle and I glued it in and then I just tiled around it and I um, started out by just making a black and white check around the center and then I did I filled in with these black and white um, kind of log shaped they're iridescent too and then again I mean I'm not thrilled with it because I think if I I would have kept it to like maybe one or two colors but I think I just get so caught up and I want to use everything that it it gets away from me but the one thing I loved was using this it's called um, I'm gonna tell you what it's called here it is this tile I'm sorry Jin go lay on the couch Jin Jin every time I move she's like getting up like oh man I think they're called Picasso tiles where the heck did I put them um, I have them in a few different colors and I'm going to zoom in so you can see, but I could have sworn I kept them out so I could show you. But I've been doing so much, like I, ever since I sat down, I've been doing so many things. So it gets, okay, wait, maybe they're in here. See, like this is all my, um, this might be one. Yeah, they're called Van Gogh, not Picasso. This is the, oh, here's the green. I knew I wanted to, so this is the green that I used for um, the background. So I'm going to show you. They come like this, and I think I ordered these from Wits End Mosaics. It's a, an online vendor. They also have um, YouTube videos, so it was, you know, what makes me do it. And they're cut down to, you know, like half inch. Yeah, they're about half inch size. I'm going to let you come in. It kind of has a dendritic effect. Look at that. So... I just was, this is copper and green, I think this is called, copper gold Van Gogh. Um, these are the red ones. So basically it has this dendritic pattern in the background. Here's the red ones. I think this is just called red Van Gogh. So it almost looks like tin foil or something in the background, but it does have uh, more like a leafy pattern to it right so I got quite a few colors of this in my last order um, I got some more of the Millifluri which is like all of these uh, art glass tiles I got little tiny rounds and just oh, look at the, all the white so these are white I put a few of these on there and you know so I am I think I want to stop ordering pre-cut tiles now because I want to start to cut them myself I took a class I'll show you first let me share what I did on here oops I ripped the bag these are pretty reasonable too none of this stuff I mean I do big orders because that's but nothing's really overly expensive consider compared to cra other crafts that I've bought so it's not that much and once you have a collection going I think you know that's it's just that I didn't have a lot in the beginning so anyway 
So, uh, yeah, so you can see, like this flower right here, I really like how this one turned out. It started out with, I just started by putting all these different um, size rounds in where I was going to put a flower. I used the, these are ceramic petal shapes. And then I filled in, and I just grabbed this a little while ago, so I think I can still um, wipe off a little bit. Like, there's still grout on this. See how I just got that off? Um, but I cut, uh, some pink, because this was pink, I cut some pink glitter tiles to fill in where the petals stopped. Then these are another square tile that had, like, iridescence on it, and I cut some of them so that I could put them in a round shape, and then I halved some, um, they're called rounds, they're, so I have a couple different size circles. And I just put the little petal edges on that one. So I like that flower. I like the purple flower right here. This turned out pretty good. It's very simple. I just put these little iridescent squares. And I think I ordered these on Amazon. I've been ordering from everywhere. Anywhere I see them. And if it's cheap, I ordered it. But what's, I'll tell you what's got me frustrating. This is just a big orange one, which I probably should have. I wish I would have stopped it here. It's just too big. This is very basic, the red. Um, the yellow is pretty. It's just the, the grout that I used is called um, alabaster. And it, you can't, because that yellow is so pale, it kind of blends in. Um, here's the purple. Look at this purple Van Gogh. Is his name Van Gogh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I almost didn't want to use it. because And see the green? I did all the background with the green. So, but this was just the, the edge of this purple. Oh, MJ, it's so gorge. Like, it needs to be center stage in something. It's so beautiful. It's kind of got purple and copper. There's blue in there, like a turquoise. It's so good. But, like, these are all pre-cut, pre-cut. These are pre-cut, but I halved them, so they were little squares. Here's the rounds, and these are little squares. Um... But yeah, look at that. The green Van Gogh is so gorgeous. So I love this red one. This red one turned out really cool. Like, I like the shape of it. It just looks symmetrical. Like this pink one, it's whatever. I used these big pink stained glass pieces that I had pre-cut from another mosaic that I did and um, finished it off with this little petal-y looking. But the, this yellow one looks good. I Again, I pre-cut these when I was making stained glass and then I just finished that one out. The white one, it doesn't look, I don't know, I just put those millifloris in the middle because it was so gappy and I could have turned these the other way too, like the, this, the pointy side, so in other words, um, this could have gone this way. But I just decided to, I had other, on the orange one I did it that way, so I just wanted to turn it around and see what it looked like. So I just was playing around with that. I put mirror on the outside of that. That's mirror. Um, this purple one looks pretty cool. Look, I, I used triangles and I kind of, just the way I pushed them together at one point, I was like, ooh, and then I did it on purpose. Kind of, kind of like that one. Um, this yellow one looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. I did a lot of yellow. It turned out like I probably should have added one more orange. I don't know. Like I should have stuck to one co color, but I like this one. This one turned out pretty cool. Again, it's just the alabaster, uh, the alabaster grout. I think if I'd have grouted that with gray, it would have really popped. This pink one's pretty. This pink one's pretty cool. And then this purple one. This purple one's very straightforward. So that's that's it. But I decided to use that Van Gogh green as my background, kind of like it was in the jungle or something, and you know, and that's how it turned out. So yeah, so then I, um, I just painted it with, and I keep using um, sanded grout, and it gets all over the place. It's just sandy. That's why it's called sanded grout, I guess. Um, and I tried taping off my mirror so I didn't scratch it, so I think I did pretty good. But it's just painted on the back. I painted it black, and I varnished it. And the sides look decent, so I don't know. I might try selling this at my craft show in September, but if I don't, 
um, I might just stick it on the wall here. So the last thing I want to share with you guys is a class that I decided to take at, um, let me just put these away. I have too much on my desk. It is Mosaic Arts Online. Um, and, and I believe I found that I placed an order. I don't know. It might have been Wits End. Because see, they suggested that I look for the unglazed porcelain tile at Wits End. Um, it might have been. It came with an order. It was like a card that talked about... Um, hold on. Let me see if I see it. Uh... So this was the card that came, I think this came with my wits end order, and it just says Mosaic Arts Online, it shows all this stuff, and on the back there's the Santa Barbara School of Mosaic Art retreat that you can go to. It's like 1900 I think, for like a week, it's food and all that stuff, but so I went to Mosaic Arts Online, and I took this class, it was $127 I want to say, and it turns out this this is the uh, the piece he did so I got this printout of this pattern and he traces his and like you can change it so I have it it's a PDF so I can always print it out again so I just I bought these at Walmart this is um these are like for diplomas I think it was a set of three and I just like there's it's not that high and he doesn't tell you this is the frustrating thing um, he doesn't tell you it's a mixed media piece, meaning, like I just talked about, he uses unglazed porcelain for one, two, maybe three flowers. He uses glass, um, kind of like this tile for a couple of other, um, so it's like clear glass with a coating on it. And then you would see it through the glass, so it's not exact, it's like more like this. So see how this is clear? but it has the glitter on the back and then you see that through the glass tile so he uses these some of this type of glass well I got these at Hobby Lobby they were in a little bag and I don't know what they're called or like what specific type of glass he said it's called um, I was trying to write it down in the clip he said it's called paper backed because Here's the reason I took the class is because I wanted to try cutting my own. So then the other ones he used the unglazed tile. I'm um, sorry, unglazed ceramic. It's kind of like uh, I don't have any because I've never done it before. Like this is stained glass, like a sheet of glass that's been pre cut into probably like a little like three quarters of an inch and you can shape this into a shape but the porcelain it's more like this it's like a you know like it's more of a, a different feel to like an actual ceramic tile that you would like tile in your bathroom and the stuff that he's using I just it was very frustrating because he doesn't tell you like this one I guess this is a glazed ceramic tile and I think I probably had this from when I, I bought stuff at Home Depot and stuff. Um, but it was very frustrating for me because he's not, he doesn't, he just says where you can get it. The unglazed porcelain tile, go to Wits End Mosaics. But it's not exactly what he used. And <clears throat> the stuff he used, it was more like a two, it was like a square like this size, like a two inch by two inch square. And then you break that down into usable pieces. And I don't know, it was a little frustrating. So I haven't done it. I watched the whole thing. And I think for $125, um, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like I got, I did message him. I put in a comment in and stuff. And we'll see what he sends back. But honestly, I've gotten so much, um, I made a lot of mosaics for free <laughs> because I watch YouTube videos and I just figure it out myself um, that I, I think I just expected a little bit more for $125. There's a, a good hour worth of class of videos um, where he does walk you through the supplies and the tools and things. 
Um, but I just really wish he would have shared a little bit more about the glass and why he chooses that glass and I don't know a little bit more um, information because I think some of it's pretty obvious to me you know what I mean um, but I don't know I just don't have a lot of experience with cutting my own with tools instead of I always used to use this um, the glass cutter that I showed you before the, um, this, this glass cutter Oh, it's not in here. So I've had this. This is brand new to me, like cutting the tiles with, with a glass cutter like this. I always just use the um, the other one, my gun, my pistol grip, um, to cut stained glass. So this, I use this from making stained glass. So it's a different thing, and I don't know, I, whatever. I, I feel frustrated, don't I? I sound frustrated. Um... So anyway, that's where I'm at. Hopefully I'm going to get some answers back from him. I glued in my glass into the frame. And I put my little pattern in there. And so the idea is you don't need to follow the pattern exactly. Um, but you just have an idea of where you want to put things. And then you just start building. So I'm going to enjoy it. It's just that I'd like to have the same tools that he's using so I can go along with them so that I learn how to use the tools the right way and all that stuff. So hopefully he'll get back to me and um, I hope I'm not being too much of a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, but that's it you guys. I've been definitely having fun with this and you know I think I'm going to be able to teach you guys some good stuff eventually hopefully peter if you see this video um treasury road uh peter twillings or twiling um he has a lot of videos and i'm just feeling frustrated with the tracera tracera and understanding um how to buy it and ha what kind of quantities and now i wish someone would put a video up about how much do you need and all that stuff anyway um because i have a lot of tiles but they're all pre-cut i'm going to keep using them obviously uh but then i'm going to get down to um cutting my own all right you guys sorry if i was a little frustrated <laughs> thanks for watching